Welcome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about division of polynomials, but we're going to be using long division. So what we need to do is we need to kind of go back and see, well, what does long division again ask? Because you know, let's say I have this equation, 6x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by 6x plus 5. How are we going to divide those? Now, I'm actually not going to do that problem because I just randomly made it up. But I am going to show you some examples that we are going to divide that's going to look very similar to this, where we'll have a, a remainder or not a remainder. But we need to remember where exactly does long division come from and what exactly is the algorithm. So I'm going to do two problems. I'll do 6 divided by 612. And let's do 6 divide into 7,100. 11. Okay, so what is the process of using long division with numbers that we can use now to apply to do polynomials? So let me go and do these two problems here real quick. So remember, the first thing we do is we take our term and our divisor and we divide it into the first term of the dividend. 6 divides into 6 one time. Then we multiply our first term of dividend down. So it's 1 times 6, it's going to be 6. Then we subtract the rows. 6 minus 6 is 0. Then we bring down the next number, which is 1. 6 does not divide into 1, so we're going to put a 0 up here. And then we bring down the next term as 2. Does 6 divide into uh, 12? Yes, it does. It does 2 times. Therefore, we can say, now our answer is 612 divided by 6. The answer to that, which we call our quotient, is 102. Now let's go and look at this problem. How many times does 6 divide into 7,111? So the first thing, we take 6 into here, and we say 6 divides into uh, 7, well, 1 time. 1 times 6 is 6. Now when we subtract, we have a remainder of 1. 6 does not divide into 1, but since it's still in that first place, we're now going to bring down the next term. Well, 6 divides into 11. There we go. It's my little row. Bring down the next one. So 6 divides into 11 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. Then, again, we subtract the rows. 11 times 6 is going to be 5. 6 is not divided into 5, but it's still in this row, so we bring down the next one. 6 divides into uh, 56. Let's go and see 8 times. So we're going to put an 8 up there. Now 8 times 6 is 48. And then we subtract those in 3. 6 does not divide into 3, so we bring down the next one. So i got to subtract those, which is 31. You can say that 6 divides into 31. 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. And then we subtract, and they go through 1. Now we see that 6 does not divide into 1, and we don't have any other terms that we can bring down. So therefore, that's going to be our, our, the end of our number. Now a lot of times we could say, a lot of times we'd say, oh, well, that's your remainder, right? So we'd say 7,111 divided into 6 is 1,185 with the remainder of 1. And we're going to write the remainder a little bit different when we're using polynomials. And this, we have a remainder of 0. But we're going to write it a little bit differently. But I just wanted to kind of go through the algorithm of how we do long division with numbers. So therefore, we can apply it when we're going to have polynomials. Hope that helped. And here we go to some more fun examples. Thanks.